Hello, my name is Sime Mitchell, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to weave a really cool washcloth using hemp yarn, hand spun in Nepal, and pile loop pickup. So this is the Cricut Loom by Schacht, and I am just weaving some simple plain weave on it. So what I've got here is I've got a linen warp and I'm using this really nubbly hemp yarn, hand spun in Nepal, as my weft. And what I'm going to make today is I'm going to show you how to pull up looped pile in order to make like a scrubby little spa washcloth. So what you do is you open a shed and you're going to throw across your shuttle. And I like to pull it up here towards the top so that this is very, very loose because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to skip these first four threads and then I'm going to go in here between and I'm going to start pulling up loops. Now you can do this by hand or I even find that a little crochet hook makes this very easy. So I'm just going to pull up loops all the way across. And what I'm actually putting them on to is an aluminum knitting needle, something you might have around the house. The size doesn't really matter too much. Um, if you have a bigger knitting needle, you'll just get longer pile. If you have a smaller one, you'll get shorter pile. I've warped up an eight dent heddle with some linen yarn. You could also do this project in cotton if you wanted to, but I like the scrubbiness of the hand spun hemp. So as you can see, I'm just pulling up each loop from between the two threads on the up shed. Now when I get to the end, I'm also going to leave four threads unwoven with the loops. And that's going to create a nice little selvage on the side. So now that I've got my loops, I pull them down, change the shed, and I'm just going to weave some shots of plain weave to lock those loops in place. And after the first one, I'm actually going to pull this out so I can pack that weft in really good. Now one thing about working with linen and bast fibers is if it starts to give you trouble, the tension is a little off or you don't get a good turn here at the selvage, squirting a little bit of water really helps. And then after three picks of plain weave, I'm back ready to weave my next row of loops. And if you look over here, you can see that we're forming a nice selvage and that these loops are locked into place. <laughs> 